Hello, I guess you are here because you want to know all about solo ads. What are they and how can they possibly help increase your sales in your business or help increase the contacts you have on your email marketing list? And that's kind of where I associate it with is your email marketing list. And then you know what happens there. So my name is Vanessa DeBerlay and on my channel, I am here to help you earn money, save time and find balance in your life. And this is a time saver. Everything you do in your business is going to cost you. You're either going to cost you with your time or it's going to cost you with money. There isn't anything for free. I don't care what you do. You're going to spend time or spend money. One of the ways that you can find um, people to sell you um, solo ads are through Facebook. That's one way. And I'm going to give you an example. We're just going to, I just uh, Googled solo ads and Facebook. I did a search and here's one buying and selling group. And in the group, I'm not a member of that, but in any of these groups, what they do is they allow people to promote themselves to be solo ad sellers and you can go and connect with them and become a solo ad buyer. Now, what is a solo ad? All right. Let's say you're trying to build up your email list. Let's say you only have about a hundred people on there, which isn't bad. It's a good start and you want to build it up faster. Organically, you've been getting people, but you just want to get to a thousand or 2000. So you go to one of these solo ad sellers and you say, I want to buy 100 clicks. Okay. Remember it's clicks. What they'll do is they'll take your email, um, sequence, whatever you're saying in your email where you're offering something, you send it to them. Say, this is what I want to say. This is what I want to offer. You send it to them. The more you do, the better. And then they will send it out to maybe a thousand people off of their list. And once it gets a hundred clicks, cause that's what you bought, they'll stop running it. And then they send those names to you. So you have a hundred clicks. Now, a lot of people will send you like 110, 120, just because it's to their advantage to over deliver. Now, out of those clicks, you're going to look at, okay, how many of those people are opting into my email list? How many people opted into that free lead magnet that I had? And now they're on my list. And I did it once and I had like a 40% opt-in, which wasn't bad, but personally, I'd rather spend my time than my money because it, it'll cost like 50 to $80 to get those hundred clicks. And you're not guaranteed that you have opt-ins and you're not guaranteed that there are sales. Now, there are other places that you can go and let me show you. Personally, I would recommend going to this site instead of to a Facebook page only because um, this site is called Udemy, U-D-I-M-I.com and they only deal in solo ads. So you can come and place yourself on the site as a solo ad seller or a solo ad buyer, one or the other. So they're connecting people that want to do business together. But if you're a seller and you're scamming people and people are giving you bad ratings, just like Upwork or Fiverr, they're going to kick you off the site. So most of the people here I would think would be legit and you probably have a better chance of getting a really legit list of people. Um, where do these people come from? Well, let's say you've been in business 10 years and you've created a mass list of a million people. Well, you can become a solo ad seller. Um, these are people thinking of other ways to make money with the resources that they have. I think it's genius personally. I think it's genius um, because they've done a lot of work to collect those names. Maybe they bought them, maybe themselves. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you want to go to the top here where it says find sellers. And I'm going to just tell you a couple things to look for when you're looking for a seller. Um, oh, let's put that back there. Okay. One of the things you're going to notice right away is right here. It says this seller, whoops, has been promoted. And psychologically, we think, oh, Udemy is promoting these sellers because they're so wonderful. That is not true. They're being promoted because they paid to be promoted and paid to get to the top. So they paid money to do that. Probably smart to do that because now the first three people you look at are all promoted. And if you're in a rush, you're not, you know, don't feel like digging, but you know, all three of them look like they got pretty good stats. So they're not bad, but let's look at some of the things that they're showing. This is one thing you want to look at this 41%. That is the percentage of ratings where buyers reported sales. So he has 2,693 likes and 41. I don't know if that has to do with customers. Let me see here. But 41% of the people that he sold to have reported sales. So that's probably pretty good because if you skim down here, 
um, some of these percents are lower. This person has six dislikes along with the likes, so that's something to consider. Thomas here is new. He only has 14 likes that we can assume he's newer, but he's got 23% of the people have sales and he only charges 48, 48 cents per click. The thing is you only pay for the clicks. So let's say they take your money and you say, I'm buying a hundred solo, a solo ad and I want a hundred clicks. They might run it through a thousand people to get those hundred clicks. You're not gonna pay 48 cents for a thousand. You're gonna pay 48 cents for the hundred. So just put a zero on the end and put your decimal place in $4 and 80 cents for a hundred. All right. Or $48. <laughs> that was not good, was it? Oh, don't tell my friends that. All right. I'm like, that does not sound right. 40, 480. It's $48. Put your two zeros on their end. You're multiplying by 100. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's look at Brandon. We'll forget that even happened. Let's go to Brandon Sean here. He's got 67 cents. He's charging more, but his buy rate, his sales rate is 69%. So that's pretty good. He's got a good you know, a lot of people said they, they're, um, they've gotten sales from him. Now, as you come down, you can say how many, um, that you want to buy. This says, see, 200, 100, you have a minimum that you can buy. You have to buy at least a hundred. So if he's 69 cents, it's going to cost you $69. And I think right here it's $70. They're probably scheduling in the little bit that they have to pay to you to me. They have to pay to be on this site. Um, you can choose a base filter or you can choose um, only top tier. And it says you will receive only visitors from the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Zealand, and Singapore. Um, those are always considered top tier. Think about it. People in America spend money like it's water and they will even buy high ticket items. Um, you don't wanna be sending this to um, other poorer parts of the world that might not even consider high ticket items. But if you just want to see how it works, you might want to try the lower tier. If you up it to the top tier, look down here, you're going to pay an extra $10 to guarantee that everybody's from those countries. So it's up to you. Personally, I would pay for that. Um, you can go down here and you can see um, he has a temporary price drop and he said all of my ta traffic comes from these places the top tier 40 percent of my clients get sales and more and he does not accept desktop only traffic which i would think you would not you would want mobile as well all right so let's look in here um, this person said um, these are testimonials thanks for your high quality traffic i got good leads and sales and he said i got sales so all of these different um testimonials are telling him you know yeah we we've got sales look at all the green on the right this one didn't get sales but he said good solo thanks three sign up so he got three opt-ins but maybe not sales again you've got to dig in and find out which one you want to use but those are things you're looking at you want to pay for those hundred clicks and you want to get as many opt-ins as you can and hopefully get at least a sale out of that or one or two and this shows you average traffic comes from the United States. You can see where it all comes from. So make sure you check that out. It's at the bottom. And there you go. 100% top tier countries. Let's go back up. He also has frequently asked questions. I'm not going to go into that, but let's go up and look at another one. Let's just, um, let me see something here. Go back one and we'll look at somebody else. Let's go down a little bit. Somebody that, um, might be a little cheaper most of them are running about 60 cents so you're talking 60 dollars okay anthony is 50 cents but he has a 37 percent um sales all right let's see what anthony has to say and again it's called udemy.com the link is below check it out just go in and check it out and maybe you know this is an option maybe you want to um buy some and um, build up your email contact list He sold 11 solos in the last couple days. So that shows you that he's very active. And right here it says $28 base fill. Oh, that's for, he'll let you buy 50. So if you're skeptical and you're not sure what to do, that's really nice of him to let you buy 50. You know, I would be that way. I would be afraid to spend too much money if I wasn't sure. So, uh, let's get it up to 100. And there you go. It's $53. That's, you know, it's worth it. You can, um, 
tell them when you want it to go out. And again, here are some of his no sales, but 16 opt-ins, 53% opt-in. That's really good. More than half of them opted in out of 100. And some of these people got sales. So there you go. Some people come back. I ordered 50 and I got 55. Out of 55, I got two signups and four opt-ins. So it really depends on what you're looking for. And he's looking at the United States too. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. I hope that makes more sense. It's not something you have to do. Remember, you're paying with your time or you're paying with money. I know people that have put out money and bought like their first 2,000 contacts on their email list. Um, I did not. Like I said, I... I bought, I think, 100, and I got like a 40% opt-in rate, but I personally want people to click into my newsletter, into my email list, that they, they know what I'm offering, if that makes sense. Um, maybe back then I wasn't real clear, um, but I, you know, it's up to you. Maybe you can really offer something and explain in that email about your newsletter and get them to sign up, or maybe you just have this wonderful lead magnet and you're getting the right people. But um, again, it depends. You've got to figure out your own business. There's no magic bullet out there for anybody. We're all um, unique. We're all trying to figure out our business. And this is part of what you can do if you want to grow just your email list a little bit faster. Hope that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. You're more than welcome to check out my playlist. I've got other email marketing tips and things um, that might help you out. There's a playlist below. And then the link for you to me is down there as well if you want to check this out. All right. Thanks for coming today.